The frequency distribution table in Excel gives a snapshot of how the data is spread out. The frequency function calculates how often values occur within a range of values and then returns a vertical array of numbers. Frequency returns the distribution as a vertical array of numbers that represent a count per bin. Here is the syntax. Data array, an array or reference to a set of values for which you want to count frequencies. Bins array, an array or reference to intervals into which you want to group the values in data array. For example, use the frequency function to count the number of test scores that fall within ranges of scores. We have student scores in column B. Enter numbers that represent the bins you want to group values into. They are the highest values for that bin. Enter the bins in column D. All the values from 0 to 10 are counted for bin 10. All the values from 11 to 20 are counted for bin 20 and so on. Enter the frequency function in E2. Pass B2 to B14 as data array and D2 to D11 as bins array. The frequency function always returns an array with one more item than bins in the bins array. This is by design to catch any values greater than the largest value in the bins array. Each bin shows a count of values up to and including bin value, excluding values already accounted for. We have one student who scored from 0 to 10, two students from 51 to 60 and so on. The count in the last row E12 is the overflow bin, the count of any values greater than the largest value in the bins array that is 100. You can also use the countifs function to create a frequency distribution. The countifs function in Excel counts cells based on two or more criteria. Here we use three formulas to generate the same results as with the frequency function. This is the formula at the top of the frequency range. The countifs counts the values less than 10. This is the formula at the bottom of the frequency range. The countifs counts the values greater than 100. This is the formula in the center cells. Use two criteria in the countif function. Values greater than the previous bin and less than or equal to current bin are counted. Using countifs is more flexible and powerful than frequency function. Since we are using a formula in each cell in the frequency range, the logic used is more obvious. For example, by looking at formula in F4, we know where the upper limit 30 is counted. If we don't care about values outside the range of the bins, we don't have to show them. For example, if we don't want to count values greater than 100, just delete the formula in F12. Another example, we have two values in 20s, 20 and 23. Using the frequency function, 20 is counted in 20 bin and 23 in 30 bin. We can change how the frequency distribution is calculated using the countifs easily. To create a frequency distribution where the scores 0 to 9 are in bin 1, 10 to 19 in 10 bin, 20 to 29 in 20 bin, just change the formulas. Use this formula. Values greater than or equal to the current bin and less than next bin are counted. In the last cell, use this formula. All values greater than the last bin value are counted. Now all the scores in 20s are counted in the 20 bin and so on. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.